Before watching this video, I highly recommend watching the previous video. I hesitate to use the word density when referring to space because of how easily what I am trying to say can be misunderstood. So let me illustrate with color gradients and curved lines. We start out with a grid and a solid. On my density scale, it comes out to a five. Once we introduce mass, space is warped around it. Now the density of space close to the white ball is about a 10, while the density of space near the edge of the screen is between a 5 and a 1, depending on which edge you are looking at. So this is what I mean by the density of space. 1. The closer to the mass, the more space is bent. 2. The closer to the mass, the stronger the gravitational pull. And 3. The closer to the mass, the slower time progresses. This raises a question. Is the volume of space constant? That is, if changes are made to one part of space, is the effect balanced out in the rest of space? As mass warps one part of space around it, does it have the opposite effect elsewhere in space? Okay, answer time for the questions from the previous episode. If you didn't watch the first episode, click here to watch it first. Good. Everyone watching now has seen the previous episode, right? The question was, must we consider a fourth dimension when discussing gravity? The answer is no, you don't have to. Those were just illustrations. In some discussions, a fourth dimension may come in handy, but it's not a requirement. In fact, you can illustrate mass warping space with a one-dimensional object distorting one-dimensional space, a two-dimensional object warping two-dimensional space, or even a hybrid 3D and 2D scenario. I know, I can hear you screaming. So what is the right answer to the last question? Imbecile. The right answer is imbecile. To see the previous video, click here. To see the next video when it comes out, subscribe to this channel by clicking here.